Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So, it's a sad day. This is the last of the variants that we have to review. Uh, unless you all send us a prop. <laughs> if you do that, we'll review it. Um, you know, we like we said in the last on one, camera. <laughs> you'll, be in, you'll be an international superstar. You, exactly. You know, at least you'll be recognized by international superstars. <laughs> all right, so um, this is the Midnight Orange, 15.2%, uh, 2018 Bourbon County, obviously. Uh, it is, it's made with coconut nibs and orange peel, uh, which some people would say is hit or miss. Um, I, we've both had this. I liked it. I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. Um, I've recently had another orange chocolate beer that was not so good, almost a drain pour. Uh, and so, you know, it makes me appreciate this one more yeah. uh, because I was expecting as much from it and it was, it did not live up to the expectation. So let's get into it. Yeah, absolutely. Darkness. It's, midnight. Yeah. It pours a nice it's, midnight it color. It is guys. midnight. Look at that. See that there? A little tan khaki head dissipating. Right. I'm already getting orange just from here. It's yeah, I mean, even we, we didn't get our normal cellar tent because I jumped the gun and opened it. Yeah, that's but, okay, but uh, I'm sure out of the fridge. But you still get that orange aroma. Yeah, I get orange and chocolate. Yeah, um, it's it, hard to know if it was like chocolate from coconut nibs or if it's you know chocolate from the malt. But I mean, it, you get both. I still smell Burren County, and then I get orange with that. Yeah, and it just really reminds me of those little chocolates that got orange liqueur that has uh, orange liqueur inside. Mm, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Those little candies. It just that really is what pops up my mind when I smell this. Yeah, I would agree with that. Mm. But I still definitely smell Bourbon County there. I you do know, too. It's not just a generic chocolate or chocolate malt. Uh, it definitely has those um, that uh, characteristic Bourbon County mm -hmm. nose. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I still get barrel from it. I mean, it, it, it smells like Bourbon County with a, a little bit of orange. Mm, smells good. Yeah, let's do Cheers. it. Cheers, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. That's good. I, I, I really Enjoy like it. the orange. I think it adds to it. I, I really like it too. I definitely, I get like Bourbon County with a little more chocolate. I definitely get the cocoa okay. nibs because okay. I get that base, but I'm also getting, I'm, I'm definitely getting more chocolate. The orange for me, at least on that first sip, was nice and subtle. It it was well integrated into the beer. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, what I like about it is the orange doesn't taste artificial to me. Mm -hmm. um, the one I was referring to, I'm, I'm not gonna say which one it was, but it tasted so artificial, it just, it was awful. I mean, it was it was really a drain pour. Um, from a brewery that I'm, I'm used to getting good good adjunct stouts out of, but this is this is what you'd expect for a bourbon brand, or bourbon barrel, um, like a, a big stout with a little bit of orange yeah. to it. Don't expect, I mean, it is, it's a decent amount of orange, but it doesn't overpower the base beer, which I like a lot. Uh, agree everything you said second sip more orange but it doesn't overpower it's just a nice i think it's a, a nice flavor um that was kind of up front for a while and now it's settled i'm just getting this chocolate so i didn't i didn't appreciate this much i had a lot more bourbon county since i first had this uh -huh. so i think i'm able to pick out that more the, the cocoa that i know okay. bourbon county has a chocolatey flavor to it but this is even a next it's 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 a little more kind of like roasted chocolate not really bitter but kind of bittersweet roasted chocolate on top of that bourbon county base you must have had more bourbon county than me i can't pick that out or your palate's more well <laughs> i don't know this is our first beer of the night uh -huh. and, and you know how things just evolve yeah. as you drink because the first sip is definitely different than the second sip for me already you know maybe maybe what you're perceiving as coconut nibs i'm just perceiving as just robust bourbon county which is probably from yeah. the cocoa nibs that's probably what it is i would say so um but i, I like it too and you're you're right there's a little something more than regular mm. bourbon county yeah and it's got to be the cocoa nibs again um, more of that just wonderful fruity orange i, I love that I don't know that I ever would have put this in a beer, to be honest with you. If you were like, if you were going through a list of like a hundred adjuncts, mm -hmm. I don't think I would ever be like, yeah, let's do chocolate orange. Let's just do a chocolate orange beer. Um, yeah. But for what it is, I think they pulled it off. I think they nailed it. And, and I enjoy this beer. Uh, the reason I was saying all that, the people that do not like it, their biggest complaints, it's way too much orange. It just, it just takes away, detracts from the base beer. I just keep hearing the same, way too much orange, way too much orange, way too much orange. So if you're going to hate this beer, I think that'll be why. Even though I don't get that, I think it's, I think it's, 
I mean, it's there. It was very subtle at first. It's becoming a little more uh, prominent for me, but it's still, I think it's just well done and I enjoy it. I gave it a four or five. I'm sticking with a four or five. I'm gonna stick with a four or five as well. Um, so the people that, that you're, I haven't watched any other reviews just because I didn't want to skew myself, but those people that were really, you know, hating on too much orange, I wonder if they said the same thing about vanilla because mm -hmm. vanilla was just a vanilla bomb. I mean, it, it was mm -hmm. so much vanilla, the base beard, you couldn't even get the base beard, to, yeah. at least to me. Um, but this, I mean, I still feel like I get the base beard and I get orange and it's not an artificial orange, so that's a win. Um, yeah. I'm very impressed with it, but I, I'm with you. You go through a list of things you put in a stout and orange <laughs> is not one of them. Yeah. Uh, at least I would have thought of it. But chocolate and orange, that's, you know, that's the key. Well, there's chocolate orange candy. So, I mean, yeah. maybe that's that someone just brainstorming, trying to be creative, come up with something new. You know, we kind of talked about this on our, our video with the coffee barley wine. I don't know, some things are just good. Why don't you stick with it? You got right. coffee you love, you got barley wine. They don't have an orange beer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they decide, anyway, no, but um, I think for what they were going for, they nailed it on this one. I think so um, I would not search out a midnight orange. I only want, you know, this got distributed here and we were able to get, I just wanted a couple bottles and I, I probably could have gotten more if I wanted it. And now, you know, two bottles is good. Drink one now, drink one later type thing. And. Uh, I enjoy it. After drinking the first one, I went back and bought more. I, I just couldn't help myself because I thought it was. I, mean, I only bought. Do you one think it's going to get any better with time, though? I mean, it's. I, I don't. It's so think good so. now. Like I just, you're going to lose the the thing that you would have bought it for yeah. being the orange, unless it just kind of melds into some awesomeness. Worth worth checking out. But. What are you saying? Don't buy beer and sit on it. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I'm oh just saying goodness. some beer. You know, like I, for instance, <laughs> the vanilla. You know, when I think about the vanilla, that oh, was yeah. it overpowered me, and I think it's going to be. Just a fantastic beer with time. I, at least I'm hoping, and I, I really do think it will be. Whereas this, I just don't know where it's going to go from here. Yeah, I'll probably drink them in the next year. Just yeah. I think it's one that you have to be in the mood for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, um, absolutely. It's strange. <laughs> and it's it's sweet. It's sweeter mm -hmm. than regular Bourbon County because of the orange and the coca nibs. I, I just I dig it. Yeah, I do too. Um, you know, there was something else I was going to say. I was thinking about it before the video, and I can't remember it. So if I remember it, I'll put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. But. Um, yeah, so, oh, I know what it was. So I watched a video on Bourbon County and how they come up with some of the adjuncts. Basically, they allow, I, I don't know if it's just some of their employees or certain brewers, but you know, they experiment and they encourage them to experiment with different adjuncts. And I would assume that they just do te test batches. And then after doing test batches and they come up and say, yeah, hey, that's great, let's do it. Uh, surely they don't just take ideas and then decide, well, we're just gonna you know, take a whole barrel of Bourbon County and add this stuff to it. Like <laughs> said. Uh, surely they do test batches, but uh, they, they get a lot of their ideas just from their employees coming up with, with cool mixes and yeah. uh, different adjuncts. Absolutely. And whoever did the coffee barley wine, dag on you, why would you do that? No, I'm, I'm still happy with <laughs> that. Uh, now I'm just rambling. I, yeah, well, anyway. No, this is good. Thank you for sharing. Anything yeah. else? No. As always, guys, if you came to the breed you love, love the breed you have. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>